In this video I'll be doing a review of Ubuntu 1304 which is codenamed Raring Ringtail. So this is the final release and on a full system install and I have to say it is infinitely better than Ubuntu 1210, its predecessor, which was just awful and unstable. Well, 1304 has been absolutely fine for me, it is one of the fastest running Ubuntus I've tried. I would almost be tempted to say it's better than Ubuntu 1204. However, before you consider rushing to upgrade from 1204, bear in mind that that's supported for another four years, whereas 1304 is only supported for nine months. Yeah, Canonical have significantly reduced the support time for the operating systems now, for the interim OSs. For the LTS releases, for the long-term support releases, it's still going to be a lot longer. There have been a lot of improvements on the underlying system, particularly in improving responsiveness, memory usage, and performance for full-screen games. There have also been some changes with the graphical side on Unity. Got some new icons with the Unity Launcher, File Manager, or Nautilus, the Software Center, and Software Updater. There's new logout and shutdown menus. There's also a new application selector if you press Super or Windows key and tab. So you, can, you can see it scrolling down the Unity launcher. So say I want to open up YouTube. Opens up Firefox and goes to YouTube. You've also still got the traditional application selector with Alt and tab. So when I've got multiple windows of an application hovering over it, yeah, you've got both the windows shown. Now you can go and select one of the items there. So I'm going for Show Desktop. There also seems to be an improved feature here where you can mount Android phones. Well, I'm going to say certain Android phones. This has worked fine with my HTC One S. As you can see, I'm now able to transfer files over USB. So I could easily copy over music. Yep, just compare two folders like by like and see what I need to copy over there. The software updater has been significantly improved. On the one hand, it's very simplified there. Updates are available install now, remind me later, or change the settings. But you can also drill down into the details of the updates. So more experienced users can say whether or not that they want certain updates to be done. I think Canonical have really nailed this one in getting exactly what we needed out of the software updater. A simple application that can also be used by advanced users. And one other good improvement has been with LibreOffice. The global menu is now integrated. So the menu is now at the top of the screen rather than being part of the application. That also means it's now integrated into the heads-up display. Okay, open wasn't necessarily the best example to use there. But with applications like video editing or image editing, that heads-up display is a brilliant tool. You might not know exactly what you want. You've got a rough idea, it'll find it. And now for the real downsides of Ubuntu 1304. With the upgrade of GNOME, there seems to have been a lot of features gone, in particular with Nautilus. So if I want to connect to a server, what's this? Server address? Now I've got to type it in instead of selecting one off the list. Okay, that's fair enough. Let me connect to my NAS, which needs a specific login. Uh, okay, how do I do the log? Oh, I can't. I've now logged in as anonymous. Where's the improvement there? And another issue is with Totem Movie Player. Now if I go and play the beginning of this file, that was stuttering awfully. Now when you saw that at the beginning, was it stuttering at all? No, it played fine. Taking a look through the applications that we have installed, under games, there's only a few basic games, I've gone and installed Steam myself. Under internet, we've got desktop sharing, empathy internet messenger, Firefox for the web browser, Remina remote desktop. Thunderbird for email client and transmission for downloading torrent files. Under Office, partial suite of LibreOffice, which only contains Writer, Calc, and Impress. Accessories just has the usual assortment of accessories we'd expect to see. And Graphics has Image Viewer, LibreOffice Draw, Shotwell Photo Manager, Simple Scan. And Media comes with Brazio Disk Burner, Rhythmbox Music Player, and Totem Video Player. Voco Screen, Kazam, and GUVC Video Viewer I've installed myself. And that's it. It is fairly minimal for an install, and it doesn't come with the restricted extras to play MP3 and MP4 files. However, you can install those separately. There's enough applications here to get you started, and you can make it wherever you want it to be. Here's what I thought of Ubuntu 13.04. So easy to use? Yes, it certainly is. 
ease of installation, yeah, it's very easy to install and to be able to dual boot with Windows. So styling, it does look very good. And whilst I was tempted to give it five points here, I thought, no, it's still a work in progress because they've only got a few of the icons redone. So let's give them something to strive towards. Now boot up speed, Ooh, it seems to be quite a big drop here. It was around 20 seconds. Now this was on a hard drive install rather than a solid state. So presumably on a solid state, it's gonna be a lot quicker for me. Now responsiveness, well, yeah, once it's booted up, it is one of the fastest Ubuntu's that I've used and I've been using it since 9.10. Number of bugs, a couple here, uh, certainly that totem one that I mentioned during the recording, but the serious one is the boot up failing I don't know what was going on, just a random amount of hex all over the screen and it just would continue over and over again. Might be my fault because I've got the grub menu from 12.04, but seriously, should they make that much of a difference? I don't know. It's only done it a couple of times, so we'll see how that goes. A selection of pre-installed applications, well, they go pretty well, but uh, they can't install the proprietary codex, but bear in mind they're easily installable. A number of applications available, well, again, it's pretty good, but there's still quite a few of the applications that you can only get through the Launchpad repositories. So, the good points. Well, this version of Ubuntu works a lot better on UEFI BIOSes than previous versions, and certainly if you have a Samsung laptop, this is the only version of Ubuntu that I would recommend using. And there's also been some good improvements for gamers, with the uh, with full screen frame rates probably being a lot better now than again, previous versions of Ubuntu. Certainly, if you're a gamer or you have a Windows 8 system, then this really is the version of Ubuntu to go for. But you'll see now as we come on to the bad points, it's not necessarily the best one. Anyway, so the bad points are, it's only a short support time of nine months. I could still give that as a good point though, because for Canonical that's quite a lot better. The GNOME applications have lost a lot of useful features. Certainly for Nautilus File Manager, I've got no respect for it anymore now. It used to be a very good file manager, now it's just a awful thing. And there's still no option to move the Unity launcher. So overall, I've given Ubuntu 13.04 75%. In a way, it could be a very good system, but those bad points could be a severe impact for many users. Thanks for watching, see you later.